The universe commenced approximately 14 billion years ago and has undergone continuous evolution, progressively refining itself over time. However, recent revelations from the Webb telescope have prompted a fascinating realization. Either our estimation of the universe's age is incorrect, or we need to reconsider our entire understanding of its origins. Since the inception of its science mission, the Webb telescope has consistently astounded with its contentious discoveries. From remote stars to the farthest galaxies, it confronts our existing comprehension of the cosmos. The Webb Telescope's observations of the most distant galaxies unveil a cosmos just 400 million years post the Big Bang. Nevertheless, there exists a limitation to the Webb Telescope's ability to observe the early universe. According to our prevailing cosmological model, the telescope cannot extend its vision beyond the Dark Ages. During this phase, the universe is entirely devoid of light, with no stars or galaxies emitting observable radiation for the Webb telescope. The cosmic microwave background radiation marks the last observable phenomenon. However, a recent groundbreaking discovery challenges this notion and implies that our understanding of the universe's size might be fundamentally flawed. A newly published paper reports that images captured by the Webb telescope have unveiled celestial objects older than the age of our known universe. Early observations from the James Webb telescope showcase distant galaxies, and the subsequent findings confirm numerous candidates for the most distant galaxies, some of which surpass the age of our established universe. This revelation poses a significant challenge to the field of astronomy, shaking the foundations of our fundamental understanding of the universe and its origins. Previously, the record for the most distant galaxy was held by GNZ-11, a distant galaxy discovered by the Hubble telescope. It emerged a mere 400 million years after the Big Bang. However, the early observations of the Webb telescope have surpassed this record. Scientists have recently validated four galaxies, even more ancient than those observed by the Hubble telescope, marking a groundbreaking achievement in our exploration of the cosmos. Among these galaxies, Gia Az 13 stands out as the most distant ever observed by the Webb Telescope. Captured 325 million years after the Big Bang, GSZ-13 is currently estimated to be located 33 billion light-years away from Earth. This vast distance results from the expansion of the universe which occurred during the time it took for the light from GESZ-13 to reach the Webb Telescope. However, when scientists scrutinized the new observational data, they were met with astonishment. The unexpected emergence of numerous early galaxies beyond the edge of the early universe caught them off guard. One particular galaxy displayed a redshift of approximately 17 a value deemed impossible according to our current models. Subsequent observations unveiled the true nature of this galaxy. It was an imposter. Spectroscopy data disclosed that the galaxy's actual redshift value was 5. The presence of a dust cloud between the Webb telescope and the galaxy created an optical illusion making the galaxy appear vastly distant, akin to a celestial object in the far reaches of the cosmos. Peter van de Kamp, an astronomer at Yale University not involved in the latest research, highlighted that the Webb telescope has detected potential galaxies even closer to the Big Bang, though confirmation is pending. If substantiated, some of these candidate galaxies would have existed when the universe was less than 200 million years old. Scientists express concern that this data poses a significant challenge to our standard cosmological model. The abundance of galaxies in proximity to the Big Bang introduces a multitude of questions that demand resolution. However, the intrigue does not conclude here. Thus far, we have delved into the perplexing nature of high-redshift galaxies,
Yet, the Webb Telescope has recently unveiled something even more captivating in the early universe. Regrettably, recent observations from the Webb Telescope defy these expectations, revealing that some early galaxies are more organized and more massive than anticipated. Furthermore, certain early galaxies exhibit exceptional complexity and mass, comparable to our own Milky Way. This revelation presents a formidable challenge to our comprehension of the early universe's mechanisms for star and galaxy formation. Even Dr. John C. Mather, senior project scientist for the Webb Telescope, expressed astonishment at this recent breakthrough. We are peering further back in time than ever before, and we are genuinely thrilled with this panorama. Our focus has been on unraveling the narrative of how galaxies evolved. As I had foretold, we anticipated witnessing the initial stages of their growth. What we observed was truly surprising. These early galaxies were more substantial, luminous, and hotter than our projections. Some have even questioned the validity of our entire narrative surrounding the expanding universe. It's increasingly plausible that our understanding of how stars grow is also fundamentally flawed. This is Sears, 2112, a galaxy captured by the Webb Telescope just a few million years after the Big Bang. Scientists note that its size is nearly comparable to our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The presence of such G galaxies resembling the Milky Way, mere millions of years after the Big Bang, presents a significant challenge to our conventional cosmological model. Astronomers had previously believed that B-spiral galaxies like the Milky Way would not emerge until the universe had aged to at least half of its current age. This assumption rested on the idea that it took several billion years for the complex process of galactic evolution to occur, forming central bars through the aggregation of massive star collections within galaxies. The prevailing belief was that this galactic structure marked the conclusion of a galaxy's formative years, expecting it to be observable only in older galaxies that had attained full maturity possibly those existing midway through the evolution of the universe. Certainly, the Hubble Space Telescope's prior examinations of galaxy structures indicated a scarcity of barred galaxies in the early universe. However, recent insights from data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope challenged the notion that B-spiral galaxies were absent for an extended period. The identification of the spiral galaxy Sears 2112 suggests that galaxies resembling our own existed 11.7 billion years ago when the universe was only 15% into its lifespan. Across billions of years, galaxies underwent profound transformations, shaped by processes such as mergers, collisions, and the birth of new stars. The telescope observations of this evolution showcase alterations in galaxies' size, shape, and composition. What makes this evolution intriguing is its non-random nature. It represents an ongoing learning process. However, the discovery of Sears 2112 proposes that this evolutionary journey might have transpired in a remarkably brief period, possibly within one billion years or less. The existence of these seemingly improbable ancient galaxies, like the Milky Way-like Sears 2112, a few billion years post the Big Bang, challenges established theories. It prompts questions about potential gaps in our galaxy, evolution models, or whether our understanding of the early universe and its origins needs a fundamental reassessment. If you followed this video in its entirety, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel.